Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use the SharePort mobile app on your iPhone or iPad. Now the first step in setting up the SharePort mobile is to enable it on the router. So from a computer that's connected to the router, you want to open up your web browser and up in the address bar, we're going to type in the IP address of the router. The default IP is 192.168.0.1. From here, you should be taken to the D-Link router login page where it'll ask you for your username and password. Now the default username is admin and by default there is no password. However, if you did set up a password when you set up the router, you'll want to enter that in here. From there, you just click on login and that will bring you into the setup page of your router. From here, you want to click on the setup tab at the top and then click storage on the left hand side. Now within here, under the HTTP storage section, you want to go ahead and enable web file access. And then you also want to enable the HTTP storage remote access. Now you have an option here, you can do the HTTP or you can do the HTTPS or the secure HTTP. Either one is fine. In this example, we're just going to use the standard HTTP. The remote access port, you can just leave at default. However, if you want to change it for any reason, you can go ahead and do that here. Now the next section here is for user creation. Now if you want to set up particular users for access to your files and folders, this is where you want to enter that information. So you could go ahead and enter in a username and then password for those users. Now by default, there are two users, one admin account and one guest. The admin has read-write access and the guest has read-only access. Now in this example, we're not going to be creating any users. I'm just going to leave it at default and use the admin account. So once you've made all of your changes here, you just want to go up to the top and then click on the Save Settings button. Once the settings have been saved, you then want to move over to your mobile phone. So in this example, I'm going to be using the iPhone 4S. Now the first thing that we want to do here is we need to go and download the SharePoint mobile app. So from there we're going to go into the App Store and we're going to search for it. So clicking on the search icon, I'm going to go ahead and enter in SharePoint mobile and that will go ahead and bring you to the SharePoint mobile app. From there you just want to click on the install button. Once the SharePoint mobile app has been installed, you can just click on the open button or from your home screen, you should have the SharePoint icon now. So you go ahead and click on it and that will bring you to the SharePoint app. Now, the first thing we want to do here is we're going to need to make some changes to the settings. So I'm just going to click on the wheel up here to go into the settings menu. Now, the first section here is for your username and password. Now, if you did set up a specific username and password for users to access your SharePoint mobile, then you need to enter that information here. Again, as I mentioned before, I'm just gonna be using the default admin account. So I did change my admin password for the router, so I need to modify that here. So I'm just gonna click on the edit icon at the top and then enter in my password in the password field. Once I've done that, I'm just gonna click on the done button and that will bring you back to your SharePoint mobile home screen, which now should be working. So I'm just gonna scroll over to the photo section and now I can see the files that are on my USB drive. For more helpful videos, please check out support.dlink.ca.